Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Definitely. It's clear to me that you guys have a plan. Rebuilding is a means to an end, and you need players who are going to stick it out through both the good times and the bad. If you believe in me, I believe in you and what you're trying to do here. We both just want to win, right? All right, then. One more. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Wow. <laughs> okay. So, I want my career to go wherever it takes me. As cliche as that sounds. Ultimately, I want to be the best basketball player and best team player I can be. At the end of the day, that's really all I can ever ask out of myself. I want to be remembered as someone who gave 110% every time he set foot on the court. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. Here's hoping we're able to draft you with our pick. Nice job out there tonight. Your play really impressed us. So much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up. Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. As a point guard, we really feel like we can offer you something amazing, something no other team in the NBA can offer. With Steve Nash's career winding down, you have the chance to play behind and learn from one of the greatest point guards to ever put on a uniform. Once Steve decides to hang it up and you've learned everything you can from him, the starting point guard spot is yours. How can you say no to that? No disrespect at all to Nash. The man is a living legend, but... I want to make my own tracks in this league and not follow someone like him. I just don't have any interest in living in the shadow of Steve Nash. I hope you know it's nothing personal, man. Interesting. Next question. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. As I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so, we're in the midst of overhauling our roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? Honestly, no thanks. I'm looking to come into this league and win right away. I want rings, titles. I feel like your franchise has a long road to recovery before it's ready to compete again. And I'm just not willing to give the time to wait that out. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Pacers. We have the 15th pick in the draft, and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we would like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. We feel like we already have good point guard depth on our roster in Darren Collison and George Hill. Where would you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Look, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice point guards on the roster, guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, that's not Indianapolis. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. We realize that here in Indianapolis, we don't have the appeal of some of the big market teams. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization, someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Indiana Pacers. We need someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of this team. Is that someone you? I really think I would enjoy being a member of the Indiana Pacers especially with the opportunity to play alongside Danny Granger. It's hard for me to tell you right now that I want to play my entire career there, though. I mean, so many things can happen. So many things can change. I'm not saying that it's something that can't happen. I, I just don't want to mislead you. I would definitely love to be a member of your team, though. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. 
Tonight, we celebrate a new class of basketball talent that has made its way to the NBA. Their dedication and hard work and that of their families has paid off, and this moment is the next step in their promising young careers. It is also a time of extraordinary optimism and hope for the fans of our teams as they look for yet additional great players to make their teams better. The selections that are made tonight will be viewed by millions of NBA fans around the world in more than 200 countries as they make their way to become NBA players. Everyone is ready, so let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin from the University of Michigan. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. With the 10th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Sam Park from the University of Minnesota. With the 14th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select the 21-year-old point guard from Malaysia. Y'all jumped in this game was nothing to see. 